Okay, so welcome back. Time to put this back together. Uh, got a new impeller. Um, <coughs> that's for the bolt. It's a Pacer Marine PM377, which more, more importantly, I think it's a Mercruiser 47 16154. No idea at the time whether that was the right impeller or not because um, there's no markings. I've been over it all now completely. There are no markings on this engine at all, um, other than the obvious. Um, Mercury South Power 4.0 engine cover. Um, that's the only thing I had going for it. And I guess, I know it's roughly a mid to late 90s engine, perhaps. Um, so anyway, I ordered what uh, that part, which seemed to be the most common um, uh, uh, um, part on the internet. Uh, and it turns out to be correct. That's the one I took out with the two veins bent the wrong way. And there's my new one, which I've actually just covered in grease, ready to go in, um, which seems to line up perfectly with it. Um, don't know whether you're meant to put them in grease or not. You've got to be careful with greases because a lot of the greases affect um, some rubbers, um, make them swell up and so forth. I know this grease is safe. Um, it's what I use at work for similar, similar um, uh, things. It's pretty inert on all rubbers. Um, uh, it's called jet grease. Don't know whether it is actually called jet grease, it's just what we call it at work. So uh, let's start the process of putting this back together. Okay, so we're going to put all this together. The easy way would be to put the, the, um, the impeller into the volute first. It doesn't look like that's going to want to work. So let's try a more normal way, I guess. Slide the impeller on here. Find my keyway, which is up the top there. Go up again. Unfortunately, oh, there we go, perfect. Just to make it tricky, they don't line up the keyway neatly with one of the impeller veins so you're kind of guessing but anyway that's gone on pump housing and now which way do we say that's going to turn that way so that housing needs to squeeze on that way okay as long as you get it started and possibly help by my bit of grease, but that went on okay. Right, some screws. Or more precisely, some bolts. Let's put a bit of grease on these as well. If you ever want a convenient way of dispensing grease, by the way, Plastic bag, turn it inside out, take a big handful of your grease, turn the bag the right way round and then cut the corner off it, like you would if you were icing a cake. And uh, it's A, a great way of dispensing grease, but B, it's a great way of getting grease without paying for it when they've got loads of it at work <coughs> and you're not really going to use it other than this occasion. Right, I suspect that might well have been the easy bit. Um, okay, this angled rod. Um, let's show you. So, the shaft and the angled rod has got to go up inside this leg. I don't know if you can see it. Put my finger over. There's the clamping block, um, which is now over the wrong way, actually. Turn it over. It's going to go something like that. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hole up the middle where the dry shaft's going to go. There's a pipe there, which is presumably lining up 
or going onto the top of there, which will be the water out the, the outlet from the pump. Just gonna line up with that. I have sort of given that as much of a clean out as I can. So let's try and put it all back together. seems to move so when it's pulled out that would be first gear it's in gear push it in a bit like that and we're in neutral push it in further like that and now we're in reverse so I need it in reverse because this clamp you're going to get to this clamp when the lever is in reverse there so I figure if you put it all in reverse clamp it up then it should move so we're going to try this again Hopefully for the last time, because it has to be said, it is a bit of a faff. I'm using the screwdriver in here just to kind of hold the clamp so I can do it up. Hard to you can't get your fingers into it. Do that up. Right, before I tighten the thing up, let's see if we've got gears. Pull the neutral first. Yeah, rod's coming out, which disengages that clamp. <laughs> neutral. Is that reverse? Yes, whoa! Could be success. Let's do it up before anything changes. <laughs> 